This story's been around the internet better for two or three days now. And I wanted to put it out there. Mel Gibson plans to make a Fashion of Christ sequel. Uh, from all the sources I've read, it's going to be called The Resurrection or Resurrection. Um, as you know, Passion of the Christ is supposed to be the highest paid uh, blockbuster movie that has ever hit the box offices. You know, Mel Gibson for that movie, all his investors, all his holding companies, investment companies, etc. Basically wrote the book on how to make a movie. And I can't even recall what the number it made was. I think it was like 1.250 billion. I, mean, I think the number was actually that high up there. So while uh, there was that talk about how um, the Jews didn't like him and how he had that fall from grace after the movie came out, the man had to have at some point become mega rich. I mean, not, you know, compared to Steve Jobs or, you know, any of the tech company guys. Or, but in terms of what movie makers and directors make, yeah, Mel Gibson became crazy rich. So I'm getting mine from the Global News CA. Mel Gibson plans to make a Passion of the Christ sequel. Uh, Mel Gibson arrives on the stage of the award of uh, Palme d'Or uh, during closing ceremony on the 69th Cannes Film Festival in Cannes 20, May 22, 2016. It was a while ago, but anyways, this is what's going around the internet. Screenwriter Randall Wallace, the man who wrote Braveheart, revealed Hollywood reporter, actor, director Mel Gibson's planning a sequel of 2004's Passion of the Christ. Wallace has started writing a script for the upcoming film, which is reportedly going to focus on the resurrect resurrection. Um, the Oscar nominated screenwriter reluctantly divulged the information to THR. After admitting the project was becoming too difficult to keep secret. So, you can get this from any number of sources, ladies and gentlemen. If, you, um, if you're on Facebook, you can look at the America 2.0 page. That's where I paste all the, uh, post all the Gamers Den sources. Um, I used to run two Facebook pages, but I just put them together. And you guys can look through it. So. This is a big deal, folks. Um, that movie has still not been beaten. You can say Jesus never existed. You could say he was the son of God. Any number of things in between, I don't care. The movie made money. So, Mel Gibson knows how to make these movies make money. Regardless of whether or not they are one thing versus another. I know this is not a political channel, but somebody said, you know, you actually believe the man actually exists, Christ. Or, and it, what you really have to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is you have to go back into all of the religions and strip what the historical stuff said before everything came on scene. And then basically take all the folklore from Egypt and from Rome and from all the other religions combined. Because uh, Apollo and Dionysus was a similar story to Christ and, uh, you know, the whole Christian story thereof. Because remember, um, basically Christianity became an absorption of all the uh, religions, including Judaism, and all the traditions that followed. And what the Passion of the Christ was, was the retelling of Jesus 
and his struggle and I'm not even going to say his death because it is understood at least to some degree that the older texts say that he did not die on the cross believe what you want I'm just telling you what the older books say and Mel Gibson plans to make a Passion of the Christ sequel book called The Resurrection. Thank you.